We have crews live on every angle for you tonight, including ABC 15's Brian Webb and Christopher's side. And we start with Chris and Governor Brewer's side of that story when it comes to an unusual moment caught on camera. And here's a closer look at that couple of seconds of time now getting so much reaction. Governor Brewer pointing her finger at the president, both of them looking each other square in the eye. And Chris, I understand you just spoke with the governor moments ago. What is she saying about this tonight? Just a few minutes ago, Katie, she was here at this North Phoenix office building conducting interviews with the national media over this very interesting exchange she had with the president. And it turns out the governor's book was the center of this heated exchange and that photo now so many people are talking about. A picture is what it is, but um, I must say that uh, I was not hostile. I was, I was trying to be very, very gracious. I respect the office of the president, and I would never be disrespectful in that, in that manner. Okay, here's a closer look at it again. The governor pointing her finger in the president's direction. She told me she was just talking with her hands. I'll let you decide what the caption should be. And here's how it all went down. The president gets off Air Force One. She says she wanted to talk about jobs and hands the president a handwritten letter. She says inviting him to the border when he then, Brewer says, questioned her about her book, upset over how he is portrayed, which caught her off guard. To come and see firsthand what Arizona has done in regards to our economic recovery. He wanted to talk about the book, and I thought that he was pretty uh, thin skinned. Well, the governor went on to tell me that she is surprised now and has been surprised ever since that exchange went down, that she's really trying to sort it all out. Also, no word tonight if the president has actually read that handwritten letter the governor gave to him. But all of this, she says, uh, needs to be sorted out. But she says there was certainly no ill will there, Steve and Katie. Yeah, it sure looks like a heated exchange, though. <laughs> yeah.